Amigos, welcome back to the School of Motion Graphics. My name is CM De La Vega, and I'm excited to create this tutorial because it's the first one in 2018. And I've been dealing with some serious health issues since the beginning of the year, and I've had to take some time off. And it's actually quite a miracle that I'm back creating this tutorial for you. And I'm also very grateful for the opportunity to help you and teach you to become a master in After Effects. We have an exciting tutorial. It's all about creating audio-driven animation for your logo and for your text. And if you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll be creating something like this. Select your audio file and let's click and drag to the composition icon and let's hit control K to open up the settings and let's rename this to audio animation. Little smiley face for you today and let's make it 1920 by 1080. I'll make it 23.976 frames per second but feel free to choose any other frame rate and the audio duration is automatically set by the length of your audio file. So let's hit OK and let's create a new solid and Audio Spectrum, which is a plugin that we will be using, works on a solid layer. We'll make comp size and the color doesn't matter. Let's apply the effect. Let's go to Generate, Audio Spectrum, and click your audio file. Hit LL on the keyboard to open up the waveform. And let's go back to the plugin. I'm going to give you a quick overview on how the plugin works, some of the key properties, and then we'll use that knowledge and apply it to create our audio driven animation. Now the strength of this plugin really is in the path where you can select a mask path and apply this whole effect on a mask, which is pretty cool because we can convert our logo and text into mask path and you can get amazing results. So that's exactly what we're going to do. But first, the first thing is we need to connect an audio source. So go to audio layer and select your audio file. And I'm gonna select this one and let's play it back so you can see it. Okay, it looks really cool, but there's a lot more that we can do. Let's go back. Now we have a start and an end frequency, and here we can define a range so we can target a very specific sound or instrument. For example, if we go to this little chart, and let's say you want to target the snare drums. It says it's from 1,000 hertz to 2,500 hertz, so you can set it to 1,000 to 2,500. Let's go back. And the frequency bands are simply these lines. We can decrease it, we can increase it, Let's set it to 256. The height, we can just change the height of the lines. Now, the audio duration is a very interesting property. I like to think of it as the intensity of this plugin. I'm gonna show you three different values, a value of 90, which is the default, a value of five, and a value of 200. So let's play it back. Let's drop it down to five and let's play back. So you can see it's more spontaneous, it's more intense. It's what we call in Spanish pasión, which is the Spanish word for passion. Now let's change it to value of 200 so you can see the difference. Okay, let's go back to 90 and the thickness is the thickness of the lines, and what we're going to do is create a very simple expression that will take the amplitude of our audio file and it will drive the thickness of the lines. And the softness is pretty much how soft these lines are. I like to keep it pretty low. You can change the colors right here. And digital, you can switch it between digital, analog lines, and analog dots. You can also say I just want the top part, the bottom part, or both. And the last property you should definitely check out is duration averaging, which will take the peaks, it'll average it out, and it'll kind of smooth it out for you. So let's check it, and let's check it out. Okay, cool. Now, like I mentioned, the strength of this plugin is when you can use it on a mask path. So I'll show you different ways to convert our logo and text into mask path. So let's go to the first one. Let's go to project window 
and let's use this Nike logo. Let's don't tell Nike we're using their logo because they'll shut us down. But let's bring it in really quick. And the reason I'm using it because it's very simple. It works really well on a simple logo or on a logo that only has a couple colors, especially on a solid background. Select your logo, go to layer and auto trace, switch to luminance, and you can leave these values by default and make sure that you have apply to new layer and hit OK. Select the solid layer. So it created a solid layer and it traced everything for us. Hit M to reveal the mask. We have this mask. We can delete this. And we have this mask, which is a Nike path. And we can select it. Hit Control C to copy. I'll delete this one. I'll delete this one. Go back to Audio Spectrum and let's paste it. Control V. And then hit M for the mask. And very important, switch it to none. Now this one, we can rename this mask and call it Nike mask. And we go back to audio spectrum where it says path. Let's select Nike mask. And you can see that let's take out, let's take out duration averaging. And you can see that it applied the effect along the path. Now this is really cool. And if it works well on your logo, go for it. I'm going to show you method number two. Let's delete this before we get into trouble, further trouble. <laughs> and we're going to select the school of motion graphics and method number two is the old school way. Select the solid layer with audio spectrum. Let's hide it and grab the pen tool. Like I said, this is the old school way. Just click and drag and let's just draw the outlines for the logo. Okay, method number two. Let's delete this and method number three works well if you have a logo that is done in Illustrator or you have a path in Photoshop. So in this case, I will go to Photoshop and I have the shield. If I go to the path panel, I do have a path for the shield. I'm going to select it and I'll go to edit copy and go back to After Effects. Select the solid, let's unhide it. Hit Control V to paste and make sure that you set it to none. And there you have it. Let's call this shield mask and let's select shield mask and let's play back. Let's play back. Okay. You might ask me a couple questions and I'm going to address them right here. One is you can see that it's going clockwise. Let's say you want it to go counterclockwise or reverse. Now what you need to do is go to this website aescripts.com and they have this script which is called reverse mask path and this one is name your own price is based on a donation you can donate anything you want a dollar 50 cents whatever you can and you download this script and once you download it and install it it tells you how to install it by the way it's pretty easy you select your mask and you go to window and you click on it reverse mask path and there you go it reversed it for us. Let's undo. And now you might ask, hey, CM, what if I want this to start at this vertex? No problem. Grab your selection tool. Let's select this vertex. Right click. Go to mask and shape path. And go to set first vertex. And there you go. Let's undo. Now, I want to keep the symmetry in the shield. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this path. So I'm going to select these two vertex, right click, go back to mask and shape path. And where it says closed, I'm going to click on it and it'll open up for me. I'll select these points and I'll delete it. And what I'm going to do is go back to the mask and I'm going to reverse it. Perfect. And let's select analog lines and select side B. And let's play back. Okay, it doesn't look really good, but we'll make adjustments to these values and you'll see how, how it'll turn out. So let's change the start to 100, the end frequency to 1000, and let's leave the bands to 256. Let's play it back. Okay, still doesn't look too good. Let's drop down the height to 100. 
Okay, it's getting there, it's close. Let's drop the audio duration to five and let's check it out. Nice, and that's the effect that we're looking for. It looks really nice. Now, the only thing we need to work on is the thickness. And remember that I mentioned that we will use a very simple expression, and here it is. It's really simple. Go back and make sure that your work area is set to the length of your comp. Select your audio file. Let's right click and go to Keyframe Assistant, Convert Audio to Keyframes. What this will do, it'll generate and create a value based on the amplitude of your audio file. So I created a null object, and if we hit U on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframes, it created three sets of keyframes, one for the left channel, one for the right, and both channels is an average of the left and the right. So we'll delete these, we don't need this. And let's create our simple expression. Let's go to Audio Spectrum. Now, this method that I'm about to show you, you can use it on any property that has a stopwatch. And feel free to use it on multiple properties at the same time. So go to Thickness, I'll click on the stopwatch. Let's erase this. And using the Pick Whip, let's click and drag to Audio Amplitude, both channels, and Slider. And let's click Outside. And let me show you. You can see that right now it has a value of 11.20. And you can see the thickness has a value of 11.20. Perfect. Now, one thing that I like about expressions is that you can add any mathematical operations. You can add, you can subtract, you can multiply, and you can divide as well. For example, right here is too thick. So what we can do is we can split the difference. We can go back and very simple, but just put divided by two. There you go. You, have, you got half the thickness. And let's play it back so you can see. Nice. Now let's make a copy, hit Control D, let's hit M to bring up the mask, and let's, let's hit Control T for the transform tool, and let's right click, and let's go to transform, flip horizontal, and you have the other side of the shield. Let's play it back. <laughs> Nice, it's looking really good. Now let's quickly go and let me show you how to do the text. Click on the text tool and let's type in VFX. And remember, we need to convert the text into mask. And the easiest way is to go to layer, create, create mask from text. And it created a solid layer with mask. Now let's select the mask. And remember, this is a very important step. Always select none. And what I'm going to do is simply just copy the, the effect and paste it on a solid. Hit Control V and let's go back. Now, Audio Spectrum, you can only choose one path at a time. So in order to use all the letters, you would need to make several copies and in each copy, select a different path. Now let's play it back. Let's go to V and let's see the waveform. Let's play back. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't look really good. This is the same effect that we use on the logo, but it doesn't look good on the text. Let's make some modifications. Let's go back to the solid and let's drop the maximum height to 50. Let's play back. Okay, it doesn't look good. Let's bump up the audio duration to 200. All right, it's getting there, but you can see that it wiggles a little bit, and let's smooth it out with duration averaging, and let's take a look. Okay, this is perfect, and this is the look that we're looking for. Now, we can also go and we can switch it, for example, to analog dots, and we can go to the band and change it to 128, for example, and let me play it back so you can see the difference. And we can also do this. We can go back and let's write a very simple expression with, with the bands. And I'll click on the stopwatch. And using the pick whip, let's go to the slider for both channels. And let's multiply it by 10. And let's go and let's check it out. All right.
ahead, amigos. Now, this is just a starting point for you to go ahead and use the values that I've provided as a springboard to create audio-driven animation for your logo and for your text. And experiment. Have some fun. Experiment. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you want to get started in motion graphics or learn how to make some money, you should definitely check out the book that I wrote. It's available on Amazon. The link is below in the description. And something that I want to share with all of you is that life is truly a gift, so make it count.